Hi, my name is Zhong Yi. I am an assistant professor in National University of Defense Technology. The topic I'm going to share with you today is reducing test cases with the attention mechanism of neural networks. Nowadays, fuzzing techniques have been very powerful. In February of 2021, the well-known fuzzing infrastructure cluster fuzz has found about 29,000 bucks in Google's products and more than 26 bucks in open source projects. It turns out that fuzzers' raw outputs are becoming a burden for analysts because they need to spend plenty of time to trace the crash inputs step by step and inspect the program logic to identify or understand the root cause of the discovered crashes. So test case reduction is important and very useful in this situation. It is supposed to minimize the crash inputs by removing the relevant or redundant part of the program input and preserving the failure inducing part. There are many two existing approaches for test case reduction. One is random reduction. The idea is to try to remove input blocks with different size and observe whether the crash can be reproduced with the new inputs. This approach can only achieve local minimal and it cannot handle interdependent input blocks. The other approach is rule-based, either using predefined structures of inputs or using information flow checking by specifying intent policy. This, this approach makes assumptions on input uh, structures or the root cause, which is imprecise and less general. In our research, we found that the task of test case reduction is essentially determining a subset of program input that actually contributes to the crash. We wondered whether the neural network can be trained to automatically differentiate input bytes that are significant to the crash and the input bytes that are not significant to the crash. There are several advantages to do so. First of all, neural networks use arithmetic expressions of math to express complex representations. It is very flexible. On the other hand, the interpretability of neural networks can be uh, can give the contribution or the significance of input bytes, which is exactly what we need. But there are some challenges we need to solve. The first challenge is to construct a good data set, how to automatically generate and label the samples, and it would be great if the samples are highly differentiable. In other words, they should be scattered in the sample space. The second challenge is that the program inputs are long and in one dimension. The existing network structure cannot deal with it. The design of our approach is shown here. Dataset augmentation uh, works collaboratively with network training. The network is fed with crashing inputs and non-crashing inputs produced by the dataset augmentation module. Labels are given by executing the program and observing whether the program crashes with a given input. Once the network is trained, we use the interpretability of neural networks to produce the weights of the input bytes. In the end, a short crash input is generated. Dataset augmentation is based on genetic algorithms. Given a single crash input, we assign random mutation on a subset of the input bytes which generates a set of crash inputs and non-crash inputs. For seed selection, we select the most different one from the set of crash inputs using bigram model to uh, measure the similarity. This outputs better distribution the network is less likely to overfit. The picture on the right illustrates the idea when the most uh, different seed is chosen. The samples produced in the next round is more scattered in the sample space. The left-hand side shows the distribution when using existing approaches. For the explanation method, we use the attention mechanism. It avoids the saturation problem. The idea of attention mechanism is about weight assignment on input nodes, and it is used to extract the input weights that denote the contribution to the crash. Here is the transition equation with softmax function. Function G and function F can be convolutional neural networks, recurrent, network, uh, recurrent neural networks, 
or fully connected networks. And we use mean squared loss function. Our network combines CNN with INN with convolutional layers. It encodes one dimensional uh, long sequence as high dimensional vectors. Then the vectors are passed to LSTM layer and the software max function, which outputs weight vectors. Uh, in the end, the dot product of the weight vectors and the feature vectors is sent to fully connected layers. After encoding, um, the length of weight vector is smaller than the length of input, so we designed a backward weight allocation algorithm to compute the weight of each input node and use multiple networks to reduce our imprecision. Once we get the weight of input bytes, we reassemble uh, the significant input bytes according to their weights. The reduction algorithm works like this. Assume that this is the original crash input with weights. Uh, in this round, we remove a half of the less significant bytes and check whether it would lead to a crash. If so, continue to remove a half of less significant bytes and check if it would crash. Uh, when it does not crash, we do another round of reduction with this reduced input. We uh, implemented a prototype called Scream and evaluated Scream with crash inputs of uh, 41 programs. The functionality of the uh, programs include gaming, image processing, audio, video, decoding, uh, protocol parsing, and etc. Uh, the crash inputs are produced with AFL fast, and we choose randomly choose two crash inputs uh, per program to evaluate this tool. It turns out that this tool achieved an average reduction rate of about uh, seventy five percent, when take uh, which takes around thirty minutes per crash input. We also compared this tool with AFL Min. Uh, PC Rani and Panumbra. We defined the efficiency of reduction as the reduced size over time multiplies the ratio of gun truth and the size of the reduction. The relative efficiency of those tools are shown in the figure. When the log of uh, relative efficiency is larger than zero, our tool is more efficient. As can be seen, Scream achieved a higher reduction efficiency on most of the cases. In terms of accuracy, we execute the program to confirm whether the crash is indeed triggered. Therefore, this tool reports no false positives. For false negatives, Scream uh, achieved an average false negative rate of about 17% when the false negative rates of other tools are about 60, uh, 60 and 70 respective, respectively. With the help of our tool, about 70% of the reduced inputs have reached ground truth. We found that our tool is able to solve control flow complexity in some cases. Uh, for example, when the crash input contains like multiple discontinuous input blocks that must be reduced at the same time, or input blocks with uh, some specific format, like the IP address, the format of IP address, in other cases. However, the limitation of the approach is that um, this approach cannot handle the situation when complex arithmetic operations like checksum functions are involved in the input. Limited by current computation uh, power and network architectures, the capability of handling checksum-like function uh, is beyond the expressiveness of new, of new networks. Uh, thank you for listening. This project is, is open source at this address.